You've talked while you've been here about um, the scourge of money laundering um, and cited the housing market in places like London, um, but also here in New Zealand, uh, as key vessels uh, for money laundering. How common is money laundering using the housing market in your experience? First of all, nobody steals money to put it under the bed. You, know, you steal money in order to take advantage of that and enjoy it. So you need to send that money to places where you can enjoy it. And there's, this is how the money laundering schemes develop. Uh, property and luxury properties have been a preferred uh, target for the money launderers. Our chapters in Brazil and uh, in the UK have made some research on the ownership of luxury property in London, uh, another major city of the UK, and Sao Paulo in Brazil. And we found that a significant amount of the owners, more than 60, 70 percent, depending on the place, was at the name of offshore companies with concealed identity of the real owners. And the New York Times conducted a research of property in Manhattan two years ago, and more than 70% of the property of Manhattan was under offshore company names. When they dig a little bit, there were Russian kleptocrats and, and I mean, corrupt people from all around the world owning property in Manhattan. So when I arrived here and people started telling me stories about Chinese money coming from abroad and the race of the the prices of, of uh, housing here, I am sure that this is something you should take care. I have recommended our chapter to bring the expertise of our chapters in Brazil and uh, UK, and you can conduct a similar research here to see who are those who are acquiring these houses. I can assure you that a large portion of those are under offshore companies. That's why we are campaigning for the establishment of a global registry of beneficial ownership. If you are not moving money from crimes, uh, if you are not involved in illicit uh, uh, criminality, there's no reason to conceal uh, uh, the real identity of the owners and those public registries. Already more than 12 countries have committed to do it. And uh, it would be interesting now that New Zealand is considered one of the cleanest countries of the world, according to our CPI, that take this step forward. And we've got a, an anti-money laundering bill going through the processes of Parliament at the moment. Um, you recommend, I take it, that uh, that bill should include uh, the establishment of a central, open public registry of beneficial ownership. Absolutely. If you see what happened with the Panama Papers, only one law firm from Panama. Imagine the amount of law firms in all the safe havens we have in the world, but only one law firm in Panama was disclosed, and 75 heads of state appear related to those uh, uh, cases of the Panama Papers that also linked to the car wash case, to the prime minister in this country, and to the Malaysian case. So. Uh, I think it's, it's, it should be a priority, the establishment of these registries that allow everybody to know who is behind these uh, offshore companies or trusts, because part of the problems in New Zealand are related to, to a packed trust. 